I mean, I'm here on behalf of my colleagues from the Canadian Cancer Trials Group and the intergroup mechanism through EORTC and TROG to present the results of our randomized controlled trial at a plenary session here at ASCO 2016. Okay. Can you tell us what the uh, medicines that you're working with were as solo therapies and how they're being used in combination? Sure. So we uh, studied uh, radiation therapy following surgical resection for newly diagnosed patients with glioblastoma who are over the age of 65 and we tested radiation therapy alone or radiation therapy with temozolomide chemotherapy. Temozolomide is an oral capsule that's given daily with radiation and then monthly adjuvant cycles following. Okay. And how are the patient cohorts divided? So the uh, patients uh, were all over the age of 65 with surgically confirmed glioblastoma. Um, from the statistical point of view, we stratified at randomization according to their age group, uh, according to their performance status, so the ECOG 01 or 2, uh, according to the center that they come from and the degree of surgery. And we found that those variables were equally distributed between the, the groups when we looked at the final data. And what kind of results did you find from the trial and were there any predictive markers that you could associate with the results? So the, result, the results from the overall trial were uh, very pleasing. Um, so the overall survival was improved as was progression-free survival for all patients in the trial. And we looked at a very particular subgroup of patients, those patients that had MGMT promoter methylation, which is a test done on the brain tumor tissue from the time of, uh, of surgery and patients that have MGMT methylation are known to benefit uh, from temozolomide chemotherapy so we expected that we would see more benefit in those patients and we did. The magnitude of that benefit surprised us somewhat because in those patients we saw essentially a doubling of the average uh, median, sur in the median survival time in those, in those patients. And when it came to the patients you mentioned how they were stratified, were there any limits to their access to the treatments? Um, well, one of the challenges with uh, older patients is that they frequently have issues with mobility and many times don't have caregivers near at hand to be, to be able to make the trip to a cancer center to receive radiation, which is an outpatient treatment. One advantage of our approach using the shorter schedule was that it was 15 days of treatment rather than 30. So I think that becomes a lot more approachable for patients and obviously could easily have an economic uh, advantage. It's half the treatments uh, in terms of visit, visit time, etc. When it comes to taking these results forwards, do you think they could be incorporated into standard of care or be used to benefit other patient groups outside of the elderly cohort? Right. So these, I think um, what's uh, important about this is that temozolomide is obviously a marketed uh, drug and we've studied it in an older patient group so these results are immediately applicable in clinical practice uh, so I think that that will that will continue to, uh, to, to, to happen immediately after this meeting. And for patients, I was speaking with someone um, at AACR recently who was researching glioblastoma in children under the age of seven I believe and some of the uh, extensions they were doing to the quality of life there and overall survival were small but important and do you think this could be brought forward to younger age groups or people at the extreme of age distribution? Yeah, so the, the, the question of uh, um, age is an important one. So um, children's glioblastoma is relatively rare, so it's the most common uh, type of cancer in adults. It's, it's one of the least common uh, pediatric uh, brain malignancies. And they are completely different diseases. So if you look at genomic analyses, they're com completely uh, different. So temozolomide chemotherapy is already used in children, but doesn't have as nearly as much impact as it does uh, in adults, unfortunately.